Welcome back to the Stanley Parable, potentially the last episode. Muchachos, y'all know I've been exploring all of the endings that I've done. And today I'm going to try to find a few more and also go through the new content door. I really appreciate all the support you guys had on this series. And uh, hey, while it was a short series, it's still one of my favorite games that I've played on the channel. So if this is the last episode, don't cry. It, it'll still be fun. <laughs> all right, let's get started. As promised, I'm going to enter the clock as 420 today <laughs> and see what the game tells me. Ah, 420, your favorite time of day. <laughs> or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? No, no, it's 6.46 p.m. I, I actually gave you the wrong time. After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 420 p.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. Uh, it's not. How accurate is 420? It's uh, inaccurate. <laughs> you know... Can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. Are you f collecting data on me, dog? I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm. Perhaps I can in invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yep. Nah, let me whip a couple ones up real quick. Uh, I should be ready the next time you boot up the game. Ah, cabron. Really? The game is messing with me now, like the, the actual, not the narrator, but, but the, is it the narrator? Is he, is he the one behind the intro text? Who cares? All right, let's play. I'm back! Que onda perros? I'm back in my box! All of his co-workers were gone. Ah, God damn it. What okay, he's doing mean? the thing again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. You know what? Perhaps he had simply missed you know a memo. You know what? No Here's what I'm gonna do. Hard Stanley looked, what if I turn off trace of all the computers? Work. Because I just noticed that I could turn off all I could turn off computers in the last episode. And I'm going to see what happens when I try to turn off Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. But <laughs> yes, it didn't I did. Make a single difference, <laughs> nor did it advance the story. Shut up, way. dog! Why you gotta narrate everything? There's another one right there. I'm just turning everything off because all the co-workers are gone. I'm just trying to save power. And I mean, the electric bill is really high nowadays. Before I go in new content, I'm going to keep exploring and see if I can turn off all the computers and see what when happens. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, I'm going to go through the door on the left and see if there's any computers over here that I can turn off. I'm an obedient boy, but only with the purpose, narrator. Only because I want to see what happens. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yo, wait. I found a broom closet. Why why would I why did I have I never gone in the broom closet before? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I know you're full of shit, dog, because when you say there's nothing here, there is probably something here. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I'm gonna defy you, dog. I know I said I was gonna be obedient, but now I'm curious. Now I'm gonna... How about I close the it door, huh? Baffling that just to piss him off. still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's <laughs> literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. No, this is, I'm in my natural habitat, dog. I'm the janitor now. I've been demoted you, to a janitor. Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here. I'm just going to see what You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yes. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur it's to the me fact that you keep talking about it. This closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Yes, it I does. I would have thought to mention it. There's got to be something here, because he keeps mentioning it. All right, Maybe you're gonna have to get me out of here. This is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? Oh, broom, broom closet, closet ending! Closet ending was my favorite." I hope your friends find this concern. I like the uh, mistyped one instead of exclamation point. Ha ha ha, pinche narrador. I have finally... Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he yes. probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drugs. I'm money. finally making also, a man. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> 
I was supposed to go turn off the computers, but this is entertaining well, as hell. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. The they no, I'm not. to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game He's is rambling not again. lost on them. All There's right. no way I'm when dead. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Uh, I'm not going to step out of the hole in the hallway. Okay, so what he's saying is is that I'm supposed to get replaced and somebody is supposed to come and take over this computer and play and then step back out into the hallway? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Psych bitch, it was me! You too? Unbelievable. Nope, it was me all the along! Of entire species <laughs> of Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? He's Look, so mad. You can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> Wait, what if I do it again? Hang on. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, no! Stanley walked upstairs <laughs> to his me. boss's office. He tricked me! God damn it! I don't want to go in the boss's office! Uh, I gotta find all the computers. Fine, we'll find the computers. I'm starting the game again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I wonder if I go back in the broom closet. Input received. What? That was... Hang on. I got on top of the desk. Hang on. Oh! What just happened? Was that all of his co workers? Were I just, gone. I just fucking glitched out of the map. Yo, did Stanley you see that? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Oh, 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 I'm on the roof. I'm, a, I'm on the desk. Oh, oh, I'm behind the glass. Yo, I'm like a little bird perched up over here. <laughs> Wait, I want to see what's on the outside. What? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Ooh. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary. That was into insightful the and witty! Video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? It's just Why a don't we box take a of whiteness. Just to drink it all in. Okay, I'm over it now. It, there's what do nothing. You think? Are you sick of this gag yet? It, it, am I sick of this gag? Uh, no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. Yes. But now, here comes the real question. What is it? What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? 
Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. I'm not going to sit here oh, and psychoanalyze you. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected <laughs> continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. <gasps> Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Though if the other option <laughs> is really miserable to <laughs> listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, Okay, okay, I'm just I'll restart, I'll restart the damn game and come again and pick the option, the other option, because goddamn, that was, okay, that was not worth it. All of his co-workers were gone. I'm going back. Okay, uh, am I sick of the gag? Yes, I'm well, sick of Well, I it. don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. <laughs> and if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too <laughs> will become quite unbearable. Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> All of his co-workers were I gone. thought maybe if I just it didn't look at it, Stanley decided it to would go, go to away. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed no. a memo. But no, we're back. We're doing it again. Here we go. All right, let's turn off all the computers. We're gonna we're gonna go through with this. Wait a minute. This one was not awaiting input last time. Was okay. Uh, input received. Wait a minute. Are there more computers that are awaiting input? I'm gonna find the other ones. So there's two more computers that are awaiting input. When Stanley and there's only two other two one doors, other computer past this point. The door on his left. They're different every time I start the game, because the last time it was a different computer and it and it only filled up one bar. Yet there was not a single person here either. Vamos a ver. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Can I go in here again? He might find an oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his <laughs> boss's office. <laughs> oh, I was having fun. Wait. So, is there a new computer every time? Cause Stepping into his manager's- Wait, hang on. I'm restarting again. So, the whole point of the game is to do inputs on computers, right? That was the whole- my whole purpose is to just input to shit in computers. Door, what if I actually just himself? input that's and finish that? See, look, this one's not showing input. So, so, there's a new computer that's showing a waiting input this time around. And it's somewhere. So the only one, the other, the only other one left is the one in the bosses? I'm just checking again, just in case. Yet, there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided oh. to go up to his boss's the broom office, hoping he might find an answer there. No! That was my favorite room! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Aha! Look! Okay, so now there's a new, new computer somewhere. We're starting again. I'm three bars in. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right there. No matter how hard Stanley- Sorry, narrator. I'm not even gonna let you finish. I just- I found it. Begin the game again. So now there should be a fifth computer. Okay. Um. <gasps> no way. My computer is awaiting input. Muchachos. Do I press it? Do I- Do I fulfill my role? As a worker in this facility? Do I fulfill my own narrative without the narrator narrating what I do? This is- This is euphoric as fuck! That's a big word! Let's go! Input received. Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. What the fuck? Heaven has pride? They're buttons! <laughs> no way! Click, 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 click
What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable too. Now that's an artistic statement right there. Did he just it's, say it's, it's it is a very artistic it. statement? It is that what you said? Progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. His accent can't differentiate between artistic and autistic. <laughs> you know, I also didn't notice. I didn't even think to question twice the whole ultra deluxe thing at the end. It is kind of silly to call the game ultra deluxe. But I didn't even question it because everything has some sort of like extreme type of title to it nowadays. Like like Attack on Titan, the final season, part three, movie, part two, the final season. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us building castles in the sky. Just the two of us, you and I. Where's that from? I feel like, I feel like I've heard that before. There's five twos. That equals a ten. There might be a code somewhere. Oh, just because of Stanley Parable 2. Everything has a 2 on it. Let, and look at all of these nice modern desks. <laughs> They're packed. Two doors. Yeah. New content is out. New content part 2 is in. Old busted. New hotness. You just put red in a new section and it's like <laughs> your whole right brain is red. I like this. Yeah, this, this looks better than the first one. That this office is way better. The Stanley Parable 2, there's two Stanleys. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Wait, what about the fucking plant in the first episode that you wanted me to pay attention to because it was going to be so important to the story? Am I going to the premiere of the Stanley Parable 2? Or the Expo Hall, here we go. That actually looks really fucking cool. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Okay, the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Oh, we have a new name button. Okay, chingon. Let's go, two doors. One on the right, and the one on the left. We go to the one on the right. There's way more to explore though. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, Three doors. the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? All right, let's try it. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. That's bullshit. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience <laughs> of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, Jim's parable. forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. All I right. want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, I got this. sleeping and waking Jim? as Jim. Falling Jim in likes love and being Bud heartbroken Light. as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities Hunting. as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams Pacing crumble and into dust. And fishing. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? That's right. If so, then please step forward and press the button. That's right. I'm, pre I'm press that damn button. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> God dang it! It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break. Insert from the gym domestic button. abuse too joke here. Drained from all of this personal validation. It's even harder the second time. I'm sorry. Did the narrator just make a domestic abuse joke. Is that why he's laughing? There, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. No, no, no. There's no I'm such thing as too much, Jim. Okay? Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose no, no, no. all Jim, sense of who Jim, you actually Jim, are. Jim, Jim, Give it Jim. back! I... I was actually enjoying it calling me Jim. Okay, so that's a cool new feature of the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> what else you got for me, narrator? What else is out here? Let's see. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. 
Well, you know, that would not be inclusive enough nowadays. Because you need every kind of name to be allowed to play your game. Otherwise, it's discrimination. Office decorations, the Stanley Parables reassurance bucket, the button that says the name. Oh, hey, I want to go to the. I want to go to the bucket, please. Please, no screenshots. Why? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. Yeah, <laughs> decoration. But I've undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Probably the Get Well with? Someday. Get Well Someday. Oh, here they are. Happy 12th Birthday, Stepneys. <laughs> Something about that, <laughs> just especially with that face. Nah, dog. I'm gonna go with this one. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. All right. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't have a step niece. I don't even have a niece. So, you know, it doesn't matter. Is that, is that everything in this room? Oh, now, <laughs> now the balloons are getting decorated with happy 12th birthday. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving with on. With what? What were you going to go with? T-shirts? Merch? They've got merch! All right, let me explore this side fully first. What's over here? This staircase looks magical. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Can you feel just... it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in <laughs> fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? It actually does. I think does. that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Yes, they do. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Something about this bucket makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like I belong. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. <laughs> this actually is a very enjoyable bucket. I almost feel like a janitor. Even though I enjoyed the closet, the broom closet, this one. The bucket you know makes me feel Let's even closer to my true back role. For Stanley Parable too, as well. It's a oh wait, you already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Really? Hmm. Oh well. I suppose Come on! it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Fine. Screw it. Free, new, and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Really? Just go here. Free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. Get yours right now. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully Are broken. You mother I wanted an achievement! I it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, 
We hear you. I'm taking and my I comforting bucket and happen. I'm going to bring it over here, away from you. And it will make me feel good about the fact that I didn't get a f***ing achievement, even though you promised me one. Stanley Parable 2 is... What else? What yeah. other exhibits have Looks we Looks like seen it's going to be really f***ing dumb. The infinite hole? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Where? Is there really an infinite hole? <laughs> the forbidden girlfriend? Where? <laughs> it has got a rim on it. Alright. <laughs> Where is it? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. <laughs> as long as I got my bucket, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be reassured that everything see, will be okay. Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Or I can just stay here and watch it go. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Or else what? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Yeah, it is. A hundred percent. Infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You <laughs> found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <laughs> you f***ing lied to me. Maybe that's what. Look, false advertisement for Stanley Purple, too. I don't I care what you say right now. This is false advertisement, and I will not stand for it. ...behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. How about you just, just call it a really big hole? Way. Okay, fine. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. What if I fall into it again? Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Normal, a normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I, I mean, did. Admittedly, I didn't make an And there's cigarettes hole, here now. But I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Okay. Had Why? enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk yeah. about. And I've had yeah. enough of the hole for a lifetime. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. You're right. What's going on here? Yeah, what Stanley, is happening? I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Yes! Finally! Oh, well, there it is. Ah. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. <laughs> concavity. I'm gonna fall in it. 
I'm gonna fall into- I don't care how big the hole is, I wanna fall in the hole. <laughs> how is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. <laughs> oh, who am I to judge? <laughs> you just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Press G. Hey. Hmm. It's not teleporting is the, me. Um, teleport button not working? No, it's not. You sure? It, it. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Uh, Try it again. It's not working. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. I, hey. I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Do not restart I'm out. me. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. Oh shit! It's a win for everyone. No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! The, the hole, hole's only fun to be around for a little bit. I don't want to infinitely else. be in the hole. Take care, Stanley. I hope you wait. The hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Do not leave me here alone with the hole. Well, um. Uh. Hey, wait, no mames. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, what's going on up there? Ah. Uh. Oh. 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 The hole is speaking. Hey, yo. The hole is taking me. I'm becoming one with the hole. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect this, narrator. F to change your perspective. Oh. <laughs> All hail the hole! <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Press G to change. F to change your perspective, and G to change your perception. And G. Uh. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. What is that? Oh, it's just Yeah. H to change your reality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going way too deep. <laughs> Jay to change yourself. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Can you not say hole like hill? That's a hill. Like H U L E, hill. Oh God, is it happening again? Oh, I clicked on the hole and then it just reloaded me. Here we are. All Go right. On. Try out some of the new features. 
I think that was an ending. I think that was was that the whole ending? Uh, I see what I see what's happening here. I see exactly what's happening here. Right, 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 right. He changed the hole to the mostly infinite hole. What else is over here? Well, there's something back here. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, it would. Yes, yes it would go at the end of the um. Well, we'll figure that out later. You haven't even developed it, have you? What if this if this is an epilogue? Oh, I get it, I get it. They change it to the mostly infinite hole. We did the achievement. There's collectibles over there. There's more stairs. Where's the stairs going? Settings world champion. What does that mean? Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? This is the collectible. Collect them all. Collectibles. In here. What? Now what? It's just dark. What the fuck? What's happening? I'm gonna walk over there. Walk towards the light. Oh, I see a collectible. I see a collectible right there. How can I get up there? Uh, it looks like I fell down here and... I can't get back up there. And my bucket's like, glitching. Do I have to begin the game again? Oh, come on! I got stuck! Okay, so I came back up here and it says, Oh, hello, that's new. It says that's... Is this just the epilogue thing? Oh yeah, that's the epilogue thing. Okay, I've been here. Hey, it says exit this way. Alright. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Yes. Ultra Deluxe? Actually, what does it even mean? Kind of, yes. But the Stanley Parable 2, now that... Oh, goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I, I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles exhibit. You see, there is a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the collectibles. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles, okay? Okay, right, fine, but last time, I got f***ed in here, and I got thrown to the bottom of the map. Ah. Uh. Collectibles. Oh, now, now it's different. It's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all it's of them different and this then time. you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> Every player trying to collect them. Is that just a little person? Oh, uh, that's. <laughs> Nice! Is there more? Where God, I... it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. How is that tragic? That's the best. Oh, somebody left their bag here. What the f***? Ah. It's a new mug. Okay. We're in another big hole again. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> all right. Okay. What's he gonna do now? Are you ready? Yes, Here it hit is. me with it. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort it's... of... Okay, never mind. Can I go play Hold in on. it? Wait, you Let jump, you grab range. balloons, and you grab the bucket. Okay, yes. <clears throat> and yes. it's an epilogue. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. Garden of Bam Bam 2. <laughs> no matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. 
I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Are you just going to put Stanley Parable Let me 2? see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. And... <laughs> really? Oh, it's got 3D motion! It's the same thing though, right? All right, begin the game. Let's see what happens. Give it to me. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for There's a company balloons for the my niece's 12th where he birthday. Was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every how is year. How are they going to make this different? And although others might have considered it soul-wrecking, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, here we go. Let's see what's new. All of his co-workers were gone. We got the balloons. What could it mean? It's the Stanley same shit. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's a bucket! Yes! Stanley picked up the bucket. I feel comforted already. Yes! Yes, dude! The bucket! Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. What if I bring the bucket to one of the endings? What happens? Because that changes the ending, right? Right? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. <laughs> oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? Yes. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The oh, aura wait. of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. No, it's, it's a my bucket. bucket. It belongs in a no. broom closet. That's what no. the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. No! Good for you, Stanley. Don't give him. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion it is. and lifelong friend. It is. You can't handle it. It is. Oh, no. We're getting into name belongs. calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of Fuck petty you, insults broom closet. simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? I can't believe bucket? I ever wanted to stay Damn. here with you. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. Well, I never. Hell no. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Fuck really you, tell dog. the broom closet off for its broom closet. comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences yeah. you and the bucket have yeah. shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved That's over right. the years. That's right. I Very love my bad. bucket. My bucket is the best fucking thing in the world. My bucket and me. 
My bucket shines and okay, sparkles whenever I, I clean it. Something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical yeah, that's diatribes right. about the Fuck nature you. of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. All right, I've got See a you later, sticker dog. back here, and I'm going to slab it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Yeah, yeah. My shiny bucket and me. My shiny bucket sparkles whenever I clean that shit. To the boss's office. My shiny bucket twinkles and I can see the reflection of my face. Stepping into my shiny the bucket office, in me. Stanley was once again my shiny bucket in to me. discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> no, yeah, it was actually was fucking <laughs> It's the, the bucket, bucket told me. The bucket speaks yes. to me. Is, what if the bucket is controlling me? Oh! Oh! I found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. They really don't give me anything, do they? They're just f***ing figurines. Take me! Psych! Oh wait, no, yeah. you take me. Gotta go through here now, and we're gonna go through the mind control facility, and we're gonna beat the game with the bucket. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, <laughs> reassuring that in this darkest moment That's of right. uncertainty, he would That's be right. right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. <laughs> That's right. The bucket is here with me. You know what bucket rhymes Stanley with? Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. What if I escape with the bucket, hmm? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was I'm escaping that at with the, the bucket. end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. I don't want my bucket to die with me. I know what happens at the end of this hallway, and the bucket isn't going to change the outcome. I gotta give the bucket a happy ending. I gotta give the bucket a happy ending, and we have to escape together. I'm not gonna kill my bucket off. We've come too far, course, me and my bucket. Stanley we fought the, the fucking broom closet. And realized they simply had too much to live for. That's right. We do. We have way too much to live for. The I, now that I have something to protect, room, I don't want to screens. defy the narrator. What horrible secret did this? I don't want to put my bucket in Stanley danger. And the bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. <laughs> Everyone in the office was being videotaped monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, little bucket. My shiny little bucket. I love you. Was the bucket you are under my the favorite. mind control facilities influence as well? No! Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? No! What kinds of things does a bucket want to do? or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. The, the bucket, the bucket is no! only here to come for me. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never! He squeezed the bucket tighter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. That's right. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. That's Two right. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They Stanley and the in a really bucket. Cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. What if we turn off the system? The system. That's right. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, it was. It's finally over. Me and the bucket. Yes, they had done it. Yes. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted I'll to teach sneeze roller skate? country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple <laughs> life they envisioned, but it was one they lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Wait. Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering. I wanted to pee in my bucket. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No. Even the facility no! itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Who go to any lengths not to part with the bucket? No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room, but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. Wait, as long no, as I don't I know about that. Bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, uh, won't I? Nah. Stanley go. Nah, very listen. Soon now, he was about to find out. Did I just fucking the Come on! I just wanted a happy ending with my bucket! Why? I wanted to live happily ever after me and my bucket. Me and my shiny bucket. I wanted to shine and be like I'm trying to make up. And I could like be like Damn, I look good today, right on the bucket, because the bucket surface is now so shiny, I can see my own reflection. And the bucket, it's like the bucket would be smiling back at me. I smile at the bucket, the bucket smiles back at me. I wanted it to be my companion forever. I wanted to pee in it. I just wanted, I wanted to pee in the bucket. All this <laughs> I'm done. All right, what look, I think we've explored so everything there is the to explore. Room. I'm sure there's like tiny little details here and there. I'm sure me and the bucket could go somewhere else, but it... it, it it seems that the only new explorations are with the bucket and taking the bucket around to different endings. That was uh, very interesting, but it's time for me to go. This uh, might be the last episode. I, unless there's like another video's worth of endings, I don't think I'm gonna explore it. This was my ending. I feel good about this. This is uh, one of the most creative games I've ever played, and it was one of my favorites I've played on the channel, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, leave a like. Let me know down in the comments what you wanna see next, but that's it for me. I love you guys, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.